Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indices and the tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, November 10th, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service over at Patreon. We have over uh, 40 people already joining that um, joining that uh, signal service after one week. So it's fairly, it's extremely popular at this point. And you'll also get full access to our technical analysis for at least the commodities market at this point. But this was a very, very interesting day, a very volatile day, day and actually days that I basically hate trading because of the volatility. It can go both ways. But we'll start out by looking at S&P 100. And the reason for this volatility is because of the announcement of another uh, COVID-19 vaccine. We've had like a hundred announcements of these vaccines already. And uh, this is probably the most um, anticipated one. But seriously, it is not ready. It has not been approved. And it won't be with us for another year. So the market just needs to cool down a little bit. And I think it has already done that. So we rallied all the way up towards 3,645. And then we pulled back towards the previous highs. So at this point, we are trading at uh, 3,588. And the market will most likely stay within this range for a while. But still, it is one year away. We're going to have COVID, for example, for one year before we have a vaccine. And a lot of things can happen in one year time. Um, there will be definitely a lot of stimulus. There will not be a lot of uh, expansionary policies for the monetary, uh, for, uh, monetary policies from central banks just to need uh, just to keep the economies afloat. And of course, all the industry in the industries, for example, airliners, cruise liners, um, oil industries, and so on, hotel industries and restaurants everything will still be affected for at least one year. So that will not be positive for the indices, neither any of these stocks. So if you look at the technical indicators for this, they are already starting to turn around. The stochastic is turning around, the RSI is turning around, the CCI is turning around, still, but the MACD is not turning around. Bullinger demand is basically exploded the Bullinger demand to the upside. So expect a pullback and my guess is that we're going back towards the 15 moving week average. So 3,400, because nothing has really changed in the world economy. This was massive news. We got massively uh, overstretched here. We have um, traded from the lows here to the highs here of around, I need to get this away, around, uh, reach here, yeah, 11.3%. So, Bear in mind, average growth for S&P 500 is around 9% a year. We have reached 11.3% in only one and a half week. That is just ridiculous. So expect a pullback from here towards the 100 moving average and probably also even further towards these lows. That is my day. Probably won't happen tomorrow, but within the next days because we're still in the same place as we were prior to this news. This news came out, massive news for the market, but still, we're still in the same place. So Dow Jones, exploded to the upside. We went all the way up to nine uh, to 30,000 before we pulled back. And still, we are trading above these previous highs. At this point, I do expect this to pull back. Um, probably to these high, high previous highs first at uh, 29,000, then towards 28,500, and probably all the way down to the 50 moving average. Um, this is very similar. This is even more bullish than the than the um, than the S and P 500. We'll probably have a bigger fall towards the 50 moving average than we had for the 50, uh, for the S and P 500. But there's no anticipation that this rally will continue. This is an absolutely ridiculous move from 
the lows of only one and a half week ago to these highs is 12.4 percent and in one and a half week so expect a pullback towards the 50 moving average and as you can see we have already pulled back several percentages yes so the nasdaq we can see that well Compared to the other indices, the Nasdaq rallied a little bit and then pulled back significantly towards the 50 moving average. And this is what I do expect from the other indices, uh, you know, probably not tomorrow, but for the next coming days, that they will pull back towards the 50 moving average similar to the Nasdaq. I did expect it today, and it would probably happen today if, um, if there wasn't the news about the vaccine. So look at the technical indicator for the Nasdaq. They are extremely uh, bearish at this point. We touched up uh, the top of the Bollinger Band, and we are heading towards the, the 20 moving average now. Stochastic is turning around, RSI is turning around, CCI is turning around, and the MACD is going flat. So at this point, we're at least going to the 50 moving average, and that is 11,545. And after that, probably towards the 100 moving average. So just bear in mind, there is no nothing really changed in the world economy. We have a new president. We have a vaccine coming next year in one year. That is helpful for 90% of patients. Not 100%, 90%. And we'll probably have several other vaccines within the next year. So, But it will take time. And that, of course, will have an effect on, this, on these markets. Uh, just very extreme effect in many cases so if you look at the tech stocks they were all red except for google uh, netflix got absolutely trashed but the thing is that we hit support here which was previous support so at this point we may go lower we are trading up underneath the, the 150 moving average uh, at this trend line here and if we break that trend line we're going to the 200 moving average Technical indicators for Netflix are very uh, negative at this point, so we'll probably stay trade sideways or pull back towards the 200 moving average, and there is a major buying opportunity. Same goes for 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 Microsoft. It rallied and then broke down significantly, and then now we're heading towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for Microsoft are all turning around, so this stock is going lower and uh, a probably a uh, selling opportunity towards the 200 not the 150 moving average but this stock is going lower apple same thing here pull back towards the 50 moving average found resistant here now found support here after 50 moving average and at this point we'll probably stay here for a while because the technical indicators are fairly flat there are there's no reason to anticipate a major rally or a major breakdown if we break down the the 100 moving the 100 100 moving average here will be supportive and these previous highs here will be major resistant we didn't get close to those even yet amazon pulled back significantly towards the 100 moving average and then found support there technical indicators for amazon are very bearish at this point so anticipate this stock to probably break this and if we do we'll probably go to 2952 rally from here then we'll have these highs here as resistant at 3369 and then to these very highs tesla is still trading within this range we rallied up towards these very highs pullback we are trading now at the 50 moving average and at this point we're probably going lower Technical indicators are turning around for the stock, stochastic, uh, CCI, the RSI is technically flat at this point. So everything is pointing to lower levels. And the very lowest levels here are here at $363. Facebook got absolutely hammered today. Um, so at this point, we are most likely going to test the 100 moving average. If that breaks, then the 100, 100 moving average down here at 260 would be our target for basically a buy-in. Technical leaders are all turning around. They are very bearish. So this is definitely not a buy at this point or you just buy it at a uh, low price as possible. Google had a massive rally for the last four weeks, but that rally stopped here around $1,821. 
a share. We are trading in between the previous highs and these new highs. And at this point, we are just waiting for a market that will trade towards this 20 exponential moving average first and probably then the 50 moving average. Technical years are all turning around. We are way, we are not way overbought, but we are overbought. And when we have an overbought condition and technical indicators that are turning around, that is not a very cocktail, a good cocktail for a buy. This is definitely a sell at this point. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And we have a signal service on Patreon if you'd like to join our team over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.